Hello and welcome back to Mondo Musings, I'm your presenter Nicardo McLean. Now in the first video of our Olympic series, Mondo Musings showcased the 10 least populous countries with at least one Olympic Athletics medal. This time around, it's the yin to their yang. That is, the 10 most populous countries which are yet to win an Olympic medal in athletics. At number 10 is Afghanistan, with an estimated population of 38 million and 42,000. Afghanistan has made 14 appearances at the Summer Olympics since debuting in Berlin, Germany in 1936. While its track and field participants have returned empty-handed on each occasion, the country did secure its first Olympic medal in any sport in 2008, courtesy of Rohula Nikpai, who complemented that historic Taekwondo bronze in Beijing with another at London 2012. At number 9, Iraq, with an estimated population of 39,310,000. Unlike larger neighbor Iran, which owns an Olympic athletics medal thanks to top discus throw Hassan Haddadi, none of Iraq's athletics competitors has yet managed to mount the podium. The country's summer Olympic labors, though, have not been completely fruitless. The Middle Eastern nation won a bronze medal courtesy of weightlifter Abdul Wahid Aziz at Rome 1960. At number 8 is Myanmar, with an estimated population of 54 million and 45,000. Myanmar, which has previously competed at the Summer Olympics as Burma, has found the going tough both on the track and in the field. It's one of three countries featured that's still waiting to win its first medal overall, having come closest with a fourth place finish in the women's 48 kg weightlifting at the 2000 Sydney Games. At number 7, Thailand, with an estimated population of 69,626,000. Thailand is another Southeast Asian nation that's found athletic success elusive at the Summer Games. Unlike bordering Myanmar, though, it's found the medal-winning formula in other sports, with its boxers and weightlifters leading the charge. At number 6 is the Democratic Republic of the Congo, with an estimated population of 86,791,000. DR Congo, which has previously appeared at the Summer Olympics as Congo Kinshasa and Zaire, and is not to be confused with the smaller neighboring Republic of the Congo, has produced a handful of good athletes in its history. Arguably most prominent among these is retired quarter-miler Gary Kikaya, who held the distinction of being history's fastest non-American 400-meter man for almost a decade. With hopes of winning his nation's main medal highest in 2004 and 2008, the 2002 NCAA Outdoor Champion found the going just a bit too tough in the semis on both occasions. At number 5 is Vietnam, with an estimated population of 96,462,000. The 15th most populous country on earth, Vietnam, is the third from Southeast Asia featured here. The nation has appeared in one of its various iterations at 16 editions of the game since 1952. Though it's never really gotten close to a medal in athletics, it has found success in other areas of the Olympic arena, capturing five medals, including a gold, from 2000 to 2016. At number 4 is Egypt, with an estimated population of 100,388,000. Egypt seemingly wasn't blessed with the same irresistible talents in the middle and long distances as some of the other countries with which it shares a North African subregion. However, its throwers have undoubtedly been the best of the bunch. Burley javelin throw Ihab Abdel Rahman, fresh off his groundbreaking silver at the World Championships in 2015, appeared primed to script another chapter in Egyptian athletics history at Rio 2016. Unfortunately, disaster struck before his spear could find its mark. This disappointment was eased, somewhat, by the performance of the country's celebrated weightlifters at the Games. With two bronze medals in Brazil, they boosted their sport's individual tally to 14 out of the 32 total medals that the nation has won in its 22 appearances. At number 3 is Bangladesh, with an estimated population of 163,046,000. With no podium finishes in any sport, Bangladesh currently ranks as the most populous nation that's never had its flag raised during an Olympic medal ceremony. While no track and field honors are on the horizon, the rumored return of cricket, which is by far the country's most popular and internationally successful sport, could provide just the opportunity needed for them to get off the dreaded medal duck. 
At number 2 is Pakistan with an estimated population of 216,565,000. The Islamic Republic of Pakistan joins Bangladesh which was once known as East Pakistan on this list. Officially, it claims the 10 Olympic medals won, 8 of which were earned by the country's men's field hockey team, once an ever-present and potent force on the game stage. And at number 1, with an estimated population of 270,626,000, is Indonesia. A formidable badminton foe to even superpower China, the archipelago that is Indonesia has certainly had its fair share of glorious games moments in its 15 appearances since 1952, just not in track and field, at least not just yet. Maybe Lalu Mohamed Zori, who shocked the world by running away with a World U-20 100-meter gold medal in 2018, will eventually prove the pathfinder who finally leads his nation to the track and field promised land on global sports' biggest platform. And that brings us to the end of another installment of Top 10 of the Weekend. If you have any thoughts on this video, please feel free to drop me a line in the comment section. A timely reply is guaranteed. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time, Godspeed.